This video documents a visit made by relatives of crew members of a RAF Bomber Command 207 Squadron Lancaster to the region in France where the plane crashed and to the cemetery where all the crew are buried. The visit was made in the summer of 2019 in the year of the 75th anniversary of the loss of this plane and crew. On the night of the 4th and 5th of July 1944, the RAF launched a major raid against a military target in St Ludiesseret, north of Paris. This is where caves were being used as a final assembly and distribution facility for the V1 Doodlebug weapon by the occupying German forces. At approximately 1.35am, Lancaster LM-125 of 207 Squadron is shot down and crashes into the forest at Apremont on the approach to the target. All the crew are killed. The crew of this Lancaster are subsequently buried at the cemetery in Creel, the nearest major town. This crew included my uncle, Sergeant Cyril Stapleton, the mid upper gunner. It is the objective of the visit in 2019 to visit all three of these locations in an act of remembrance. The day started in Paris at the Gardenor railway station. We take a commuter train to Creel, 40 kilometres north of Paris. After leaving the train in Creel, the group then travelled to Creel Communal Cemetery for a visit to the graves. Relatives on the visit, representing pilot officer John Horsburgh Wilson, his son David Wilson, granddaughter Catherine McMinn and great-grandson Andrew McMinn. David Wilson, in his 80th year, travelled all the way from Scotland for this occasion. Representing flight engineer Sergeant Geoffrey Matthews was his great nephew Ben Matthews and Ben's wife Leanne. Ben and Leanne live in Perth, Australia and joined this visit as part of a European holiday in the summer of 2019. Representing mid upper gunner Sergeant Cyril Stapleton, his nephew, myself, Clive Stapleton, and his great nephew, my son, Alessandro Stapleton. The relatives were joined in Creel by Dominic Lecomte and Eric Fardell, who are from a local association, ASAA. This association of rescuers of Allied airmen was formed to offer assistance to such airmen who had found themselves in occupied northern France after bailing out of aircraft. It now provides a resource and assistance to relatives of crew members making visits to this area. Three Royal British Legion wreaths are laid by relatives David Wilson for Pilot Officer John Horsburgh Wilson, Ben Matthews for Sergeant Geoffrey Matthews, and Clive Stapleton for Sergeant Cyril Stapleton. Then the medals of Pilot Officer Wilson are placed on his grave by Catherine and Andrew McMinn. This is a very touching moment as it is the first time when Pilot Wilson has been united with his medals. The wreaths laid contained a full list of names of all the crew of the 207 Squadron Lancaster that crashed on the 5th of July 1944. All the crew were killed together in the crash and are buried together in Creole Cemetery. Finally at the cemetery the group assembled for the group photograph. The group then travel a few kilometres by road to St Lou d'Esseret and are taken by Dominic and Eric to view the remains of the V1 weapons storage facility, the target of the raid on 5th of July 1944. The first feature we discover is this concrete building 
likely to be a gun installation on the entrance to the ravine leading to the main entrance of the facility. We then pass up the ravine to the main entrance to the caves, which are now blocked off. A view looking up the ravine away from the cave with members of the group exploring the area. There are a number of raids by the RAF and the US Air Force on this target in July 1944. This caused serious damage to the facility and therefore severely disrupted the rate at which V-1 weapons could be subsequently launched. This in turn probably saved thousands of civilian lives in southern England in the summer of 1944. About a kilometre along the road from the cave entrance, we stopped to observe concrete blocks that are in a field. These blocks were used as a foundation for an overhead crane that was used to lift V1 weapons onto railway trucks. The field has significant clumps of grass growing in uneven ground. This uneven ground was caused from the heavy bombing of this area from the raids of July 1944. We then travel to the Apremont Forest and stop at a location that Dominic and Eric claim to be the approximate crash location of the Lancaster based upon French records. As can be seen there is heavy undergrowth and this combined with the fact that the forest is private property has prevented Dominic and Eric from locating the precise location. A photograph was taken of the crash Lancaster in the forest immediately after the crash but this does not help identify the location. The visit to the approximate crash site concludes the itinerary for the day. However, before going back to Creel Railway Station for the journey home, the group enjoy a meal together at a local restaurant. A fitting end to a truly memorable day.